क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव द बेस्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ ए सुपर कंडक्टर इज सो दिस गोज बैक्स टू ए कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सुपर कंडक्टर बिफोर सींग द ऑप्शन वी नीड टू नो लॉट एंड लॉट्स ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट एवरी थिंग इज न्यू इयर नथिंग वी हैव नोन वी हैव स्टडीड प्रीवियसली एंड मेनी पीपल यू शुड बी फ्रेंक इन वी वी हैव नॉट स्टडीड दिस सुपर कंडक्टर प्रीवियसली एंड यू मैट हैव स्टडी इन योर फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ बी टेक दैट you might have not recollected because if i say ohm's law everyone everybody knows if i say meissel's law some selsby's law nobody knows if i say some susceptibility conductivity it's difficult to analyze conductivity you can tell but susceptibility magnetism so okay fine so let us learn for 10 minutes perfectly and you can answer any question in future based on superconductor i can assure that okay fine let us see what is superconductor okay super conductor its name itself tells it is a super super conductor okay means extreme conductivity it has means conduct what is conductor it conducts the electrons super conductor means by normal guess what you'll tell it can conduct lots of electrons means it has lot of conductivity you'll say that is exactly correct exactly means they have kept that name it is actually a conductor which exhibit perfect conductivity what do you mean by perfect conductivity the conductivity denoted with the letter rho the conductivity is ideally it should be infinite infinite conductivity it has means it is conducting all the electrons whatever comes to in it and it has perfect diamagnetism perfect diamagnetism it is not as easy as telling conductivity as diamagnetism because many people don't know what is diamagnetism i can understand the pain now let us see what is diamagnetism quickly dia para ferro fine let us see what is diamagnetic substance paramagnetic ferro and there are two other types of substance called ferri and anti ferri substance that are not needed as of now let me discuss only dia para and ferro diamagnetic substances are such kind of materials where you can see diamagnetic substance are those substance which are feebly feeble means weak which are weakly repelled by magnet they are repelled it doesn't mean that they are not repelled they are repelled but they are weakly repelled okay examples are antimony bismuth copper hydrogen mercury air all those things so second point when placed in magnetic field the lines of force tend to avoid the substance suppose this is a substance okay this substance when you place in the magnetic field the magnetic field actually when you place any substance in the magnetic field it will pass like this uniform magnetic field okay it should be straight okay but if when you place this kind of substance like gold copper you have gold in your house right gold silver all those coins you have when you place this in a magnetic field some of the magnetic lines of force they'll weakly repel this object they don't like they don't like much i mean they don't like they don't hate at all they don't like little bit they don't like okay so means they repel feebly repel feebly so that is the point you should know such kind of materials are called diamagnetic materials i hope you understood what are diamagnetic material the materials which are feebly repelled by the magnetic field that is a diamagnetic material for this psi m is negative psi m indicates magnetic susceptibility i'll tell you what is magnetic susceptibility as of now you remember psi m means magnetic susceptibility if there is any repulsion susceptibility will be negative why i'll explain it just within one minute then paramagnetic substances are those substances which are feebly attracted means lightly attracted by the magnet example aluminum chromium alkali and alkali metals that is 1a and 2a group elements platinum oxygen etc the second point the lines of force prefer to pass through the substance rather than air so they are lightly attracted you can see the diagram the lines of force are passing through the object you can see here the lines of force are passing through the object fine lightly attracted third ferro ferromagnetic substances are those which are strongly attracted by the magnet example iron cobalt nickel you might have studied this examples many times in your childhood but at that time it may be unnoticeable you might have uh, what do you say you might have by hearted always dia para ferro on i mean you don't know you have by hearted so i think you have understood these things clearly now as of now in your school age you already studied all this but you might have by hearted at that time so ferromagnetic substances are those they have examples are iron iron cobalt nickel this you might have studied examples of ferromagnetic substances iron cobalt and nickel and uh, the adlerium uh, dysprosium etc fine now 
ferromagnetic sub in ferromagnetic substances the lines of they attract strongly right so here uh, here psi m will be large and positive here psi m will be positive because they attract largely the lines of force crowd here see you can see the crowdness here fine the lines of force tend to crowd into the specimen this is a simple way of explaining dia para and ferromagnetic substance so what does it mean perfect conductivity means they allow all the electrons whatever electron comes they'll allow let us come to the superconductivity i'm talking about perfect conductivity means they'll allow all the electrons perfect diamagnetism means strong repulsion yes or no strong repulsion diamagnetic means repulsion small ripple feeble repulsion right repulsion perfect repulsion means strong repulsion it's like strong repulsion they are doing means this superconductor will allow electrons it will oppose magnetic field yes or no it will allow electrons it will oppose magnetic field in a feeble way perfect feeble way okay fine now let us see okay i explained here perfect conductor perfect conductor is a conductor which has conductivity infinity i explained this already perfect diamagnetism the magnet if if magnetic susceptibility is minus one then you can call it as do you know what is diamagnetism what is perfect diamagnetism the one which has magnetic susceptibility minus one what is magnetic susceptibility this is again a basic term right you might have uh, shocked by seeing this term but it is again simple susceptibility is nothing but it is a dimensionless quantity it has no units then what is its definition you may ask it indicates the degree of magnetization of material in response to applied field so you might have studied some experiment in your childhood you put some iron or nickel or whatever in a magnetic field for one year or two year it will become magnet yes or no the amount of magnetization the material has acquired is known as susceptibility when when a diamagnetic material like gold and copper when you put in a magnetic field for 100 years also then they will not become magnet that is the degree of magnetization of material in response to this magnetic field is never possible it is minus one this indicates that it will never become a magnet even if you keep for 100 years also like metals like copper copper gold they are belong to diamagnetic materials right if you put paramagnetic material they have uh, positive attract i mean they have positive psi m aluminum chromium they can become magnet maybe after 100 years something like that ferromagnetic iron cobalt nickel within one year or 10 days or something like that they, the magnetization will become very quickly because psi m is large and positive psi m indicates the degree of magnetization acquired by the material when you when you put in a magnetic field for long time i hope you understood what is magnetic susceptibility so perfect conductor means rho is infinity perfect diamagnetism means psi m is minus one so try to remember these two things i am not teaching some garbage it is important and it is it is there in your options also okay please concentrate for five more minutes so finally what is a superconductor a superconductor is nothing but a conductor which loves the electrons because it has conductivity infinity ideally and magnetism it ripples means susceptible it doesn't become a magnet a susceptibility it has minus one so these are the two things i have given it loves and it hates it doesn't hate it feebly ripples magnet is magnet magnetic field fine this is about superconductor now if you read superconductor you cannot answer this question because still there are certain terms called Meissner effect and zero resistance some some kind of effects are there critical value some criticalness although some new terms are there let us learn for five more minutes then you will be able to answer this question so uh, i am giving so many background concepts after a good research so you need not refer any book so th in that way i have planned everything here so that you will get all the concepts of superconductivity and it's related and it's uh, extension concept within 10 to 15 minutes then let us see a few basics what kind of basics we need to see in order to understand the Meissner effect the basics are like you need to know what is a critical temperature see critical temperature is a temperature at which conductor becomes superconductor and below that it is all see critical see remember below critical temperature it will be superconductor at critical temperature also it's superconductor above it becomes conductor try to remember so it is a temperature at which conductor becomes superconductor so i am telling this way conductor becomes superconductor you can tell other way also doesn't matter what you need to understand is at tc 
the material behavior changes that you need to understand okay some people will say at tc superconductor changes to conductor and some people will say conductor changes to superconductor whatever so below tc it is a superconductor above tc it is a conductor please try to remember that point similarly what is critical field critical field is a field at which the change of state takes place below critical field it will be superconductor above critical field it will be a conductor so it is a magnetic field at which conductor becomes superconductor or superconductor becomes a conductor whatever vice versa so next what is critical current same way it is a current at which it is a current you will supply at which the conductor becomes a superconductor or superconductor becomes a conductor but make sure you should remember what you need to remember is below is always superconductor please remember everywhere below is super don't interchange this below this critical it should be a superconductor and above it should be a conductor okay so below is a superconductor above is a conductor once again i am repeating below is a superconductor above is a conductor from critical point now let us see mesner effect it is very easy for you to understand now what is mesner effect so what mesner has told is magnetic lines of force will ex explode they will explode when you when a when a conductor changes from i mean when a specimen changes from conductor to superconductor okay what he is telling is take a uniform magnetic field okay then you place a conductor you place a conductor now you uh, you maintain you maintain temperature greater than tc you maintain a temperature greater than tc and maintain a field greater than hc maintain a current greater than ic if you are all are above critical values then it will act as conductor yes or no then slowly what you do is you try to decrease all these values such that they become i will become less than ic t will be the critical values you can find in the internet h will become hc when this condition arrives then what happens you know any one of this condition not all together not this is not and it can be or okay it is or so when this any one of this condition is obeyed then this conductor previously which it was a conductor it becomes now superconductor and this magnet superconductor means you already know magnetic lines of force will not pass through the superconductor it will ripple right feebly ripple so what you need to draw the edge lines they will go but this lines they'll go something like this they they don't like the superconductor hate magnetism i already told right so when this fields are maintained you can convert a conductor to superconductor how to convert a conductor to superconductor is explained by mesner hence he was awarded nobel prize also later in the later years so this is the mesner effect it is an explosion explosion of magnetic lines of force exploded or not yes you can see here magnetic lines of force here exploded why conductor has changed to superconductor it is an explosion of magnetic lines of force during change of state of specimen from normal state normal state means conductor state conductor to superconductor state when it is cooled cooled means temperature is maintained cooled than a critical temperature if you maintain a temperature than a critical temperature see means cooled means t is less than tc and magnetic this is not and this or or magnetic field is maintained then critical field or current is maintained then critical field i have not included all any one of this three condition if it is maintained then a superconductor can be converted into sorry a conductor can be converted into a superconductor you can see the figure see the temperature is maintained if it is maintained above critical temperature it is acting like a conductor so all the lines of force are passing through this conductor if it is maintained below the critical temperature it is always below then this conductor will become superconductor and it will repel the magnetic feebly repel the magnetic lines of force here you also i explained with one more diagram ordinary conductor the lines of force will be normal you have studied in your class 10 so when it becomes when this is temperature greater than tc or field magnetic field or current whatever any of the three conditions you can use not only temperature if temperature is maintained below tc then what happens this magnetic lines of force will explode means they will ripple ripple they'll go away from this point, uh, superconductor because they hate they feebly ripple so hence the reason this is the mesner effect and this is a simple way of explaining 
many books it is difficult and you may not understand now let us see last rule which is nothing but silbis rule what he is saying is in a long the same rule in a long semiconductor wire of radius r see that Mishner has told only about magnetic field and temperature he has not commented about current Silbis rules discuss about critical current that's it in a long semiconductor wire of radius r the superconductivity you can destroy means superconductivity can be converted into convert conductor if i exceeds ic same thing if i is greater than ic then what happens sc will change to c if i is less than ic then what happens sc uh, conductor will change to superconductor same thing he has explained the current was missed current concept was missed by Messner that was replaced by Silbis rule and he has given an equation which indicates 2 pi r h c i c equal to where r is the radius of that super uh, semiconductor wire so in this way a semiconductor is converting into sorry uh, yeah sorry so in a semiconductor wire so superconductivity can be destroyed okay it can be semiconductor or it can be a conductor whatever so you can take it as conductor also fine now in this way i think you have understood what is silbris rule what is Meissner effect okay Meissner is talked about only temperature and magnetic field that's why i have given only here you have given I have only critical temperature and critical field not the critical current fine now let us i think if you understand superconductor Meissner effect and critical temperature critical field critical current syllabus role now you'll be able uh, you'll be able to answer this question fine let us see the question the best definition of superconductor is option a it is a material showing perfect conductivity that is correct perfect conductivity means rho is infinity and Meissner effect is shown below the critical temperature if the Meissner effect is below the critical temperature then only it will act as superconductor yes or no yes so it should be below the Meissner effect should be below the critical temperature then only it will act as superconductor option A is correct let us check for other options superconductor is a conductor having zero resistance no it is having sorry this is rho or sigma conduct conductivity is denoted with sigma I think I made mistake everywhere so just replace that conductivity is sigma here also conductivity please replace it with sigma so conductivity should be infinity whether resistance is zero or not let us check conductivity is infinity so resistivity is zero it doesn't mean that resistance is zero resistance depends upon nature of the material if resistivity is zero doesn't mean that zero resistance okay so conductivity should be infinity and resistivity should be zero doesn't mean that zero resistance so option b is wrong many people have chosen option b directly so it is wrong it is option c it is a perfect conductor with highest diamagnetic susceptibility it is perfect conductor that is correct with highest diamagnetic susceptibility diamagnetic means repulsion repulsion means the susceptibility it, it is it never become magnet minus one i already told susceptibility is minus one for diamagnetic substances so highest not it is the lowest so option c is also incorrect option d it is a perfect conductor that will i'll agree but becomes resistive when current density through it exceeds the critical value so if i increase in exceeds the ic then what happens it becomes a conductor okay so it doesn't become resistive it becomes conductor but doesn't mean that it's a resistive and also he has given a current density he is not talking about current j he is talking about j so even does this doesn't make any sense so option a is the right choice so it is a material having perfect conductivity and Messner effect is shown only below the critical temperature if you can listen to this video you can easily answer this question so the right choice is option a so if you have any comments please post in the comment box and subscribe channel for getting more updates